Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of the Liza P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to explore the Opera House. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen, and I did quite a bit. First, before we get into it, I want to say all my stuff, like my four videos got corrupted, and I did not back up a save on my SSD, so I lost all that footage. So whenever we're beating a couple bosses and doing a couple things, we're not going to see trophies pop up. But after we get past that, we will have trophies popping back up. And I will know what to do for the first few, at least four episodes. Um, I want to apologize. So this is a new character. I had to rerun a new character and do all that stuff and try to power level as fast as I could. What we got is 20 across the board besides our vitality is at 21 and our advance is at 10. I also went ahead and leveled up some weapons, some really sweet weapons. I'm really liking these elemental weapons a lot. They've got me through the game quite a bit um, faster. So I do highly recommend these uh, weapons. Okay, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're, that we're going to do is talk to Sophia. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room. It looks very much like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. Because we've been lying, our nose is growing. That's pretty funny. Let's talk to Geppetto about it. Ah, I'm glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. The city... We can't do anything with it, though. It says, can't use this right now. Um, I think Figaro. Well, I don't know if the cat's name is Figaro. That's just what I'm calling it. I believe it is nice to us now, or actually tolerates us now. Just trying to figure out where it's at. I'm always trying to find this damn cat, aren't I? Oh, it's up top here. <coughs> Next time we see it um, here in Hotel Crot, I'll go ahead and pet it. Does Sophia have anything else to say? I'll use my power to help. Nope. Alright, we want to go somewhere else. I totally missed this. And I didn't realize it. Where is it at? 
Path of the Pilgrim. That's where it's at. We're going to switch out our weapon. This one does way more damage. Well, not way more, but... Enough that I'm willing to switch it out, that's for sure. So whenever we killed the enemy that was over here, they dropped a key. I didn't realize it dropped a key. And it dropped the key for this door right here. Let's go back to the stargazer we last arrested at. And then I'm going to go over to the opera house. I'll see everybody over there. Before we get started here, I want to check out this. Yeah, let's put this on. Seems like a good choice. Gonna switch to our electrical weapon. <laughs> Hate those little girl dolls they're very annoying I know there's one right there it just doesn't want to come down I guess guess now she does Get me out of this spot. That was a very bad spot to be in. No, I missed an item down below. That's okay. We'll get it in just a moment. It sucks that I lost my saves, but whatever. Well, not really saves, more or less recordings. That's what they are. Oh, who are you? You're not a 
stop it. Are you here to listen to my music? I can't sing anymore. This petrification disease took away my songs. Riddles. I was fooled by him. He said this place was a shelter. Patricia, I'm so sorry. Oh, Patricia, I'm so sorry. I'm parched. Just a taste of fruit. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the sweetest apple I've ever had. I can't stop death from taking me. But I have enough strength to confess my sins. Can you listen to my last confession? Patricia, I coveted your voice. If I can't match it, then even if I have to break you, Adelina Corday must have it all. I know it's wrong, but still, I love you. Man, that is really sad. That is the sister of the lady that we killed prior, the white lady. I guess her name is Patricia. Grab that dark moon moonstone. Some more of those annoying little girl dolls. Really don't like these ones. Come on, hop down. Okay, it didn't drop anything. Right out front of the opera house, including inside the opera house, is a great place to farm up the crescent moonstones. That way, if anybody's trying to level up a weapon a little further, they can. There's no real reason to go up here, by the way. Just to kill the spider lady. And then we're going to have some more of those stupid little doll girls. They're going to fall down. We're gonna lure him back here, that way we can... Have an easier time fighting this lady, maybe. Come on. By the way, Disruption found out the hard way. It will outright kill you if um, you let it fill all the way up. So it's kind of like Curse or Death from Dark Souls and Elden Ring. She just stood there and let me kill her.
go in here before we fight a new enemy. Let's sharpen our tool or repair it. We're just gonna throw some cells at this guy. Ooh. They hurt so bad. Oh, I did not know that. They have a chance to drop that Dark Moon Moonstone. Okay, so they're worth farming if you want to level up the um, boss weapons. Get the exploding pickaxe. We'll be opening up that shortcut shortly. We're going to open up this shortcut first. And then what we're going to do is pick up that item I never picked up. And then we're going to rest at the Stargazer and then continue on forward. So right here's a cool little thing. You can hop down here. At first you're like, oh man, there's more to this place than what I've explored. Maybe after killing the boss, then we'll be able to explore. Nope. All you gotta do is hop down right here. And then apparently we're gonna have to do another riddle because there's a door here. Okay, we want to come back over here first. There's another shortcut, the one that I was like, ah, oh, we're going to open that up shortly. Yeah, we open up one shortcut to open up another. There's some little girl dolls. Damn, that was a lot of crescent moons. That's where we came from. We're gonna have another one of those big dudes. Ooh, ooh. That was close. Okay, Spider Lady again got the dolls. Hate that attack, man.
Good lordy. Sorry if I'm jerking the camera around a lot. Let's switch over to this. I think that is about the doctor again. We'll bring that to Vanini to decrypt. We're going to want to heal. Oh, that went way better than I expected. Okay, and that's it. We have explored the whole opera house. Now all we need to do is fight the boss. And hopefully the boss goes better. Um, not better. Uh, actually, hopefully the boss goes as well as it did the first time I recorded it, which... I beat the boss on my first try. It was pretty awesome. It is a really cool boss, by the way. Try to get the attention of that. Puppet. Didn't want to take a hit, but that's okay. Whatever. This is a butthole clinching moment. Terrifies me every time. All right, let's uh fight the boss. What a cool intro, am I right? The only bad thing about this boss is the tables and chairs.
defeated the king. I gotta think the puppets will have changed too, right? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Let's go backstage. Not too hard of a boss fight. I'm glad you're safe. I was so scared I would lose my precious son. It's risky for me just being out here. Fortunately, you didn't need my help. I'm so proud that I got to see my son defeat the king. Hopefully, the lesser puppets will die down soon. Now that the king is dead, the puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still lingers. It's tough, but I know where you should go now. The Grand Exhibition. Rumors say the alchemists there have developed a cure. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemists both their science and their motives. But they may be the city's last hope. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. If it will help Antonia and the others, it's worth exploring. Go to the Grand Exhibition and see what you can find. That one puppet could control so many others that's a memorable feat indeed unlike a real king the puppet left no heir the remaining puppets are leaderless and we can reclaim the city but it's still a city beset by the petrification disease seek a cure from the alchemists at the grand exhibition that one puppet Okay, nothing new. We'll repair our weapon. And then I don't think I'm going to go any further over here. We'll go back to Hotel Krat and see if there's anybody to talk to. Oh, yeah, the lady. We'll uh, backtrack real fast. We'll go get the record from the lady. Good thing I went to the Stargazer. I think we can just run straight in here. I'm not sure the spider lady will be able to follow us. Coming to the top. Oh, there's another record. By the way, I am so upset that the record we just got is not this song. I really like that song. Let's go ahead and go back to Hotel Krat now. I'll see everybody there. Antonia's condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage inside their own bodies we're all safe thanks to her sacrifice but i wish for a miracle to save everyone me as well you're back i was so worried when you marched off to fight the king but this it's a necklace from the mona charity house they took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. 
Or don't tell me. The king's ergo is actually... Are you okay? You look ill. Ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens, you look... You're becoming something more than a puppet. Almost human. If this is what you want, just keep behaving. Keep feeling like a human does. You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. I'll use my power to help. Come over here. Again, like always, I'll listen to that off screen. a certain age it's a comfort to reflect on old memories that's a portrait of me when I was young <laughs> I was so feisty so fearless back then I loved the world and the world loved me back the passion of those days is long gone but I still dream of those memories I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? No. <laughs> it seems Dupetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. People have no... Let's go talk to her butler. And then after we talk to her butler, I think we'll try to talk to Geppetto and we will call it an episode. Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... adore Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? <sighs> it exists indeed. An unbelievable love to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol, I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. 
I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty, the very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? Let's talk to Geppetto, and we still need to talk to Vanini and um, Vanini's butler. I know this video is dragging on a little long, and I apologize. I just want to get a lot of the talking uh, with all the NPCs done. Also, our nose is growing even longer. That is hilarious. Oh, my. This is a change I didn't expect. Did the King of Puppets get you? Or some other ruffians? I'm glad you're growing. But I'm not sure what to make of this. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy for me. You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. We plan to reveal our new automated puppet technology at the Grand Exhibition. If it hadn't been cancelled, it would have shocked the world. The alchemists are there now, working on a cure for the petrification disease. Dare we hope? In my experience, they always have an ulterior motive. Remember to be on your guard when you're with them. The barren swamp was originally vacant, useless land. It became a massive dumping ground when the factory started disposing of puppets. The polluted groundwater spawned strange creatures. Hmm. Perhaps similar to the ones in the cathedral. Definitely worth an investigation. And rumors whisper of rare treasure in a monster's nest. Why don't you go look for it, son? Krat Central Station. Yes, it's where you woke up. There used to be a workshop near the station. However, the puppets destroyed it when they attacked. Many of the puppets have moved on, but now strange monsters lurk nearby. Be careful if you go back. You're precious to me. People call them the Alchemists of the Isle. Their headquarters must be on an island across the sea, but it's not on any charts. I remember tales of an underground dock in Krat, where the alchemists would embark. That's all I know. Let's go talk to Vanini. I can't predict how you'll change. Hmm. How to proceed? Let's go talk to Vanini and his butler. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Master Vanini carefully curated this collection box himself. With it, you have returned to us what was stolen. You have our gratitude. The House of Vanini always keeps a few special items in the private reserve, sir. Only for our more discerning patrons, of course.
Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the Puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. I always welcome friends. No trouble at all. I almost consider it my oldest hobby. Trust me, I won't let you down. There we are. A deciphered cipher just like, well, just like I used to make. If you ever need me to help you decode another message, I'm at your service. Pretty easy to find where that is. And then one last person to talk to. I know my way around a weapon. Nope. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top of the stairs and we're going to end the video right over here. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.